You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. I have a familiar face, the one, the only, Arnie Danielson. Welcome. Hello, nice Mark. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you again. Um, we had a great meeting earlier this week to talk about the Downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival. Yes, that sir. That is going to be coming up, and it has turned from a one-day event downtown over to the new Stacey Adams Cultural Center as a three-day extravaganza. Three well, I would say a three-day event. We're having a little bit of fun with it. We, the official kickoff, the chamber is going to join us for a ribbon cutting ceremony for the building at one o'clock on Friday afternoon. And this, there will be a meet and greet. There will be a couple of small musical performances. And then we are opening the building for an open house. Now we have a vendor's mall inside, and mm -hmm. this is what is lovely about this. It's, it's three days because it can be. We don't have to set tents up and break them down and all of those sorts of things. We're working with the developers. So we have, in addition to open studios, we have 32 art and craft and, let's say, creative economy vendors that will be in the building. We've also been given permission to curate and decorate the interior public spaces, and we have a group of 35 artists participating with artwork for this. So you're going to meet a full-blown art center when you walk in the door. Food service will be later on in the evening. We will have Lady C and J Soul Food comes by to help. And there will be some small musical performances. We have a young lady named Hannah Vaccaro who is going to perform. She's a singer, songwriter, and a guitar player. Followed by Sebastian Lucien, who does Haitian folk songs. Followed by his father, Charlo Lucien and Andrea Lovett from the South Shore Storytelling Group, who will do a bit of a talk and a performance on Haitian folk tales and the magic and art of storytelling. And we will finish Friday evening with Fritz Duchesne and Gerdi Sanat and their African drumming. And we will encourage a little bit of sit-in for that. Saturday at one o'clock in the afternoon, we have a block party in the parking lot outside the Stacey Adams Cultural Arts Center. Edison Matthew from All Rhymes will be providing the entertainment. Lady C and J and her husband James will be out with their full entourage and all of the wonderful things that they produce. There'll be some, there'll be some seating out in that parking lot. There will be kids games with Fuller and Louis Lemayu and Love Alliance. And we are turning the inside of Gallery 33 into a cafe for the comfort of our dining guests. At the same one o'clock in the afternoon, the vendor's mall opens inside and will be open through seven at the earliest. At six o'clock in the evening, in our performance space, we will fire up a second evening of performance and I do not yet have a finished lineup. My booking agent is still working on that. That will finish about 11 o'clock. There'll be a closing artist reception in Gallery 33 from seven until 10. And there'll be a hip hop cipher and open mic in Suite 336, a wonderful performance space that the developers have produced for us up on the third floor. On Sunday afternoon, our vendor's mall is open again for a few hours for the people who are still around. And we host a champagne and fruit reception in Gallery 33 for the Brockton Symphony Orchestra's brass quintet. So from four to six, there will be that type of activity. And at six o'clock, we are saying to everyone, take advantage of the last couple of minutes of the Vendors Mall, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you for a wonderful pada. So we talked <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yep. Just to let you all know, it's Friday the 26th of August. 26th. Saturday the 27th. 27th Sunday, the Sunday the 28th. So it's the end of the summer before Labor Day weekend. Absolutely. So if you haven't decided you're going on vacation and packed your bags and got out of town, this is the place to be. Well, we are working with the developers. We are working with the local neighborhood associations to actually physically get the word out for everybody and to have a wonderful time doing it. We're inviting everybody. It's actually a series of interlocked and overlapping micro events inside the larger festival structure. There will be something over the course of that weekend for everybody and on purpose. We're very proud of the teams. We have almost 40 young volunteers who have said, can we please help? And now mm -hmm. this to me is unadulterated success. 
They will provide their own management. They will work with us. They will work with the building developers. They will work with and shadow all of the different teams. I've said this before, it's summer camp for the city. Come on, everybody. We're going to have some fun. I love it, summer camp for the city. Now, the building has been transformed. Absolutely. Uh, oh. Years ago, you wouldn't go over there. You wouldn't go near the place. I mean, between the park down the street being renovated mm -hmm. and a lot of neighbors really fixing up their property. Absolutely. There, this is a, a, a hidden jewel now. It is, it, it is a work in progress. It is a, it is a legitimate art center, and it is developing in front of us. The developers have done a spectacular job with the physical facility itself. The building is beautiful. All the floors have been refinished. It is completely cambered and secured. Everything. It is immaculate. And we are in process of working with them to introduce that building to the broader arts community. We're, bringing every, we're inviting everyone. And we want to show off what it is that we've all managed to create together. Now, this is a legitimate partnership. And there are lots of partners. Everybody's smiling. Everyone's having a wonderful time. And we are simply going to make sure that this continues to happen. You mentioned we've done it in the parks. This is year six, Mark. Mm -hmm. Year six. And it is something that the city has come to look forward to. And we look forward to putting it on. We've got wonderful partners this year, and we're excited about the change of venue. We're excited about the three-day time format. It's, it's magic. And you don't have to worry about weather. That's the, that's the good part, because even though there's a parking lot and games and food yep. out there, there's also the indoor plans. And the whole idea is to get people together, to have them experience a, a little culture. And uh, the developers are smart. They want people to see the building because obviously they're, it's, it's a big building and they're looking for artists. Loft space and businesses we're, we're to kind be of, in there. We're kind of being used car salesmen here. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to sell you this car, so I would like to sit you in it so you can drive it for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what we're going to do, and we're telling everybody. We want to offer you this opportunity. We now have open studios and vendors and artists and performers and jewelers and, and, and all coming to the same place to do the same types of things. Everybody makes new friends. Everybody makes new friends. Everybody begins to look at the world differently. And what's sweet about it is a number of the people that are coming along with us this year have been with us from the beginning. That's even and better. they are growing up as performers, as business people, as entrepreneurs. So we are, as gently as we can, we're handing away the keys to the kingdom. This is a wonderful city, and I know it. Real quick, I got the high sign. Website, you're going to have it all up on your website. I know it will all be uh, up on the website. It's been redesigned. It's yeah. BrockdenArts.org. Please come and check it out. And yes, absolutely, all of the information will be there. As always, it's a work in progress, but we're very proud of the site. We're very proud of our web developers. We're very proud of our social media guys. And we're all very proud of you. Thank you and your team. You're wonderful people. Thanks for everything. Well, we, we love it. You make it easy for us to have fun and put it on TV. I like to have fun. Last question real yes, quick because I got the cue. Any kind of phone number in case volunteers or any other last minute stuff? 508 yeah. 326 mm -hmm. 9971. But inside the web presence, there is a place where you can sign up to be a vendor and sign up to be a volunteer. Part of Perkins is redesigned. We're proud of that, too. Perfect. Every step in the right direction. Perfect. Thanks for doing what you do. My pleasure, Mark. Pleasure. Thanks for having me in. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.